Welcome back to our channel where we share updates and untold stories about the Princess of Wales, Catherine and her royal family. Today, we bring you a very interesting piece of news. The only daughter of William and Catherine has reportedly grown very close to her great-aunt, Duchess Sophie, who often takes her to various boutiques in London. The source added that Charlotte's mother, Catherine, is very pleased with her daughter's close relationship with Sophie, which is much needed during her recovery from cancer, as it has restricted her own outings. In a heartwarming display of family unity and support, Princess Charlotte has been on a cheeky shopping trip with her great-aunt Duchess Sophie and her daughter, Lady Louise Windsor. According to a source close to the Wales family, a senior royal source has claimed that their close bond persists even outside of their royal duties, with the two even going on shopping trips to Chelsea and Knightsbridge, which was very touching. Louise adores Charlotte too, but doesn't see her as often because she's mostly away in Scotland. One of those trips included the Duchess's daughter, Lady Louise, as the trio visited Peter Jones on King's Road. Princess Charlotte is Lady Louise's cousin once removed. Louise, aged 20, is one of the youngest cousins of Prince William, which means she is closer in age to her cousin's children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, than she is to her 42-year-old cousin, Prince William. Although Lady Louise is lower in the royal line of succession than her cousins, sources suggest that she is the Queen's favorite grandchild and dotes on her young relatives. This summer, the Prince and Princess of Wales have enlisted her to help take care of their three children at Balmoral Castle. Louise endeared herself to everyone by looking after William and Catherine when they were there. A royal source has revealed that Lady Louise has even taught her young relative, Princess Charlotte, how to draw the bunny rabbits that hop around the Balmoral estate. Louise loves drawing and sketching, and she was very patient in getting Charlotte to draw pictures of rabbits and deer. It appears the young royal has an artistic flair, and her beloved grandmother is reportedly thrilled, even allowing her to look at some of the family's other talented artists. The source added that due to her obvious artistic skills, the Queen allowed Louise to look through some of Queen Victoria's Highland sketches, which are kept at Balmoral but are rarely taken out these days. By stepping in, Lady Louise maintains a sense of normalcy for the Wales children. Her presence ensures that the family can continue to enjoy their summer traditions and activities, despite the challenges they face. Their sweet bond has been evident during various events, as the duo have been seen speaking and sharing touching moments on several occasions. At last year's Trooping the Color, Charlotte and her brothers, Prince George and Prince Louis, were seen with their parents, the Prince and Princess of Wales, King Charles, Queen Camilla, and their great-aunt and uncle, the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh. While watching the service at Horse Guard Parade, Charlotte was seen chatting with Duchess Sophie. The little princess was eagerly awaiting the event and turned to her aunt for reassurance. A lip-reading expert, Jimmy Freeman, has revealed exactly what was said. At one point, the young royal asked her great-aunt Sophie, How long will it be? The duchess is said to have replied, I think it's now. For the occasion, Charlotte wore a red and white sailor dress paired with her cream leather sienna shoes, which cost pound 89. Sophie, meanwhile, donned a Buell London Yavi Midi dress teamed with an extravagant hat typical of royal occasions. Known for her warm and nurturing nature, Sophie's gestures of kindness provided a glimpse into the close relationship between the royal family members, highlighting a profound sense of family and unity 